best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori if you're new here and today I am coming to you from my classroom. So I've actually been having some troubles uh, at home with the internet and the connection and it's really tricky to edit a video so I have to wait until I am in service um, to upload and all that so that's why I'm here. But today I am bringing you some fall recipes, some of my favorites. Um, I'm going to be doing this meal prep style but I will show you step by step how to make each recipe. Um, a lot of the recipes can be made into multiple dinners, which I thought was a fun spin on thing. Mine are all vegan, and I am gonna touch on this now, starting today, starting with this video. I am just going to be listing the ingredients as is. So I'm not gonna say that it's vegan cream cheese. I'm not gonna say that it's a vegan meat. I just think um, it just takes a lot of effort and a lot of people misinterpret vegan as being uh, gross or too healthy or too expensive and I don't want that for my channel anymore. I just want you to use whatever ingredients work for you. So starting today, I am going to be saying and I am going to be putting in the description box and on my website what things are, just the actual name of the product that I'm using. I know some of you may be bummed that I'm calling cheese cheese when it's not actually, but I think that you will get over it, um, honestly. So I wanted to put that out there just in case you are confused if you thought maybe that I switched back to the standard American diet or something like that. And then also, excitingly enough i put up some of these recipes on the website so instead of typing them out i will have them linked and then you can go visit the website there are some diys on there uh, for your own botanicals and some things that you can do with the family i used to blog on there i might start doing it again i love writing it makes me feel good and I Honestly, they're just random thoughts. So if you're interested um, in my chaotic mind, you can <laughs> definitely go and check those out if you want. But I will have everything linked in the description box down below. I know that was a long intro. Let's get right into today's video. I'm super excited to share with you these cozy fall recipes. All right, you have seen this before if you watched my last video, so you can skip ahead if you want to. But you shouldn't because it would really help my channel if you didn't. Um, anyways. Um, this is that chili, the butternut squash and quinoa chili. Super, super delicious. Here are the ingredients you'll need. And this one is on the website, so I will link that down below. I served mine with some Miyoko's cheese and a little bit of basil, honestly. Basil really gave it this really interesting flavor, but you could use whatever herb that you would like. I can feel the winds of change. surprised by you want you to make my heart feel as much as I know it should I want to get high on you caught by surprise by you want you to friends this next recipe is going to be a corn chowder i'm going to use my immersion blender at the end to blend it all but it is in the crock pot super easy to put together so we have red potatoes poblano peppers 
white onion. I'm gonna do eight ounces of veggie broth and eight ounces of oat milk. I'm using like the half and half version so you can use whatever you want there. I have four ears of corn that I've cut into or cut off of the cob and then for seasonings i have old bay which is my favorite i have black pepper and then i have smoked sea salt that's going to cook low and slow for around eight hours and i'm going to top it with some cheese Next up on the list is this pumpkin cream sauce. So this can be used for a lot of things. I'm gonna use it on a pizza and then I'm gonna use it on some spaghetti squash. You're gonna need eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm using the chive. You're gonna need half a can of pumpkin puree. You're going to need eight ounces of veggie stock, but you could use milk instead. And then this is optional. If you are following the starch solution, this product does have oil in it. It is the Chow Mexican Shreds, but you could omit this. You could add regular cheese if you wanted. You could use like a sharp cheddar. And then for some seasonings, you're gonna need salt and pepper to taste. I'm using onion powder. I would use fresh garlic. I just don't have any. And then I have some sage. This recipe is based on Lisa's recipe from the blog Farmhouse on Boone. I will link her channel down below, but she really inspired me to make a cream sauce that I could eat. You're gonna put everything into this pan on low make sure it is on low or it might start to burn and then you're going to use your immersion blender to blend everything together or you could put it in a food processor but you want this to be a creamy sauce let it simmer on there for a good 20 minutes and then you are good to use it on whatever food you would like All right, so I was just doing the squash and I um, thought about this, that it might be helpful. This is a camp fork, so it has the blade on the side, a fork, and then a spoon. I always use this because I can get all of the little bits out of the squash here to um, recycle or cook the seeds. I'm sorry, bake the seeds. But yeah, I thought I'd share that with you because these are like $3 at the store and they work really well. They're usually in the camping section. So I have an acorn squash and a spaghetti squash. I'm gonna take some avocado oil, salt and pepper, flip it upside down on a parchment lined baking sheet and bake it at 400 for around 30 minutes, but it really depends. Um, sometimes I leave the spaghetti squash in there a little longer 
but you're just going to take a fork, flip it over when they're not hot anymore, and then get all of the spaghetti squash out. I mixed mine with the pumpkin cream sauce. All right, now we are putting together a filling for the acorn squash as well as a topping for the pizza. So I'm using the Beyond Sausage. Um, I like the breakfast style and the hot Italian. It just depends on what is on sale. This one was on sale for $4.99, which is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna freeze the other half. I only have four links here. I diced them pretty finely. And now over here I have Brussels sprouts. I'm just gonna pin them apart, um, pick them apart here. I have red bell pepper and I have onion. I'm gonna saute that in some water and maybe a teaspoon of oil. It really depends. I just think it adds a good flavor, um, the avocado oil. Salt, pepper, garlic, and that will be our topping for the pizza as well as a blend for the acorn squash. I know that we just met the other night But I can get you off my mind Not a smooth talker, under pressure Sweaty palms ain't making it much better Something about you feels so special Pretty ugly from the minute that I met ya Now that the topping is fragrant, I'm going to take a ready-to-go pizza crust and then spread some of the pumpkin cream sauce on top of it. And then I'm just going to add my toppings. You could absolutely add some more cheese if you wanted to, but my toddler really loves cheese and he ate it all. So you're going to bake this at 400 for around 12 to 15 minutes. Um, my crust was a little thin, so that's why I did it for that amount of time. You might need to go 17 to 19 minutes. It really depends on what kind of pizza you're making. But this was devoured. This was just our lunch for the day. The kids really loved it. I didn't feel too heavy after eating it and it just really gave me some fall comfort. All right, and then here is our acorn squash. I'm just going to cube it like you would an avocado or a mango, and then I'm just gonna leave it like that and fill it with that sausage and vegetable filling and then top it with some pumpkin cream sauce. You could absolutely top it with cheese if you wanted, give it some hemp seeds or some chia seeds, or maybe even some flax just to add in some extra added proteins and good omegas. But I just served it just like this with that cream sauce. It was delicious. And again, this was gone pretty fast. I still have some acorn squash left and some filling. So I'm excited to eat these for lunch this week. All right, my friends, that is going to do it for today's video. Make sure to check out everything in the description box to find all of these tasty, cozy, yummy, healthy fall recipes. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll see you next time, y'all. Bye. <laughs> when I'm sleeping with someone new, I just close my eyes and think.